Skadoosh! Welcome back to the channel, all my ninjas. My name is Joey Moss of Bad Boy Gaming, and we are here to bust open a total chaos draft bundle purchased from. Drumroll. That was a really weak drumroll, Mr. Moss. Card Kingdom. Card Kingdom. Total Chaos Draft Bundle. What all comes in here? 24 unique packs. Total Chaos Draft, a draft Bundle is perfect for draft sets for lovers of chaotic and crazy limited environments. And then it goes on to say this draft bundle will include one copy of each of the following booster packs. Let's just find out what they are without reading them all off. So, Card Kingdom. Is it worth it? By the end of this video, I want you guys to tell me if it's worth it. I think it's how we're going to do reviews from now on, because let's all review it together. We are a united force. We are a team. Men amongst men. And some women also are in the crowd. What all do we get inside one of these? It's a nice little packaging. See that little, little, little stuff here? Little, gotta keep that away from the kid. He's going to want to play with it. Oh, crap. All right, put it away. Let's see what all we get. Holy smokes. Let's just start going through it. Um, I'm going to put these in the back here. And we're going to get to cracking, Captain. No particular order. Let's go. Has anyone purchased Card Kingdom? Chaos Draft. Or a draft pack at all. And also, if anyone has any recommendations for something they'd like reviewed on the channel, please do not hesitate. Leave your comment below. I love hearing from you guys. You, after all, are the reason why I do these videos. I don't do them for myself, obviously, because uh, I watch my videos again and again and again sometimes, and I'm just not that entertained. Uh, Gem of Beckham, Dusk Coming. I love my show. I love my show. Gem of Becoming, Dusk Mantle Prowler. Revive all up in this. And a Diabolic Revelation. I'm not going to go over every single card and what it does, because we'd be here all freaking day. But it's a good idea. Um, it's, it gives you a good idea of what is uh, up inside of all these. Or what you can expect from a certain set. If we pull a Mythic or something, that'll be sweet. Maybe I'll ring a bell or something. Every time a bell rolls, the angel gets its wing. We got an Aether Torch. Renegade. Masterpieces, man. Who's pulled a Masterpiece? If you have, brag about it in the comment section below. I think I've pulled one before out of a out of a uh, out of a kit. What was it? I think it was a kit. I can't remember. Architect of the Untamed is our rare. Now, of course, you're gonna get a variety of stuff in here, and uh, it's all shook up. So the odds odds are you'll have fun playing this. I think it'd be much better to draft. Unfortunately, I'm not drafting it. I'm just displaying it for the camera for you guys to all see. So I'll never have an idea of what is all up here. Oh, so excited. I was getting excited. I was hoping we'd pull a fetch land up in uh, cons. We did not pull the fetch, though. We did not pull the fetch. Son of a donkey turd. 2011 core set. What can we get up inside a 2011 core set? This is old school stuff, so pretty neat that um, they mix it up so much. I mean, it, well, it is a chaos draft. This is like one of those $20 Walmart things, but like crazy, crazified. This is just crazified. And what does Walmart do? I think it's six packs you get for 20 bucks. So already, if you're doing the math on that, it equates to the same, but you get older stuff in here. Why is that card upside down? What is going on here? Goblin Chieftain. That's not bad. Haste, other goblin creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and have haste. Pretty good card. I think it's a solid little pool there, putting a solid pool pile. And if I'm, oh, look at that. Whoa, boosh, brittle effigy, foil. For one, that, oh, the foils look so much better back then. Um, for one to bring out, four to tap it, exile, uh, brittle effigy, exile target creature. Okay. Okay, that's, that's not bad. That's, that's not bad, homie. I guess that's cool. It's probably tough to avoid that happening. You gotta have remove the artifact or something. Or counter an ability, I'd say. That's a nice little pull, I think. That's a nice little pull. 2015 core set. Come on, baby. Shake it up, sugar. I think I opened a few boxes of this. Two, three boxes. The price has gone up on these. If you haven't known, now you know. Um, yeah, I don't know what it's at now. It might be 100 bucks a box, something like that. Might makes right. Might makes right. That sounds so weird. Hornet Queen. Hell yeah, that's a cool little card. For those of you who don't know what it does, it's flying in death touch. When Hornet Queen enters the battlefield, put four one one green insect creature tokens with flying and death touch onto the battlefield. 
that could be a disaster for an opponent when that sucker hits. Flyers and Death Touch? Yeah, you're going to take out some stuff there, man. We're on to Gate Crash. Gate Crash is known for having all of the shock lands. Will we get lucky enough to pull a shock land? Is the question at hand here. You got to be really freaking lucky to pull one of those out of this. Just a random pack. High Priest of Penance. So we said it right for once. We always say that wrong. It's weird. Mountain and a Knight. Knight Token. All right. Magic Origins. One of my least. I'd say one of my least favorite sets. What's your guys' least favorite set? Is there a least favorite set you have out there? I think one of mine is Magic Origins. I just don't really care for it too much. And the price has basically stayed the same. I mean, it hasn't jumped. I mean, there's nothing really up in here that's too crazy. Yeah, you got your Jace, but I mean, outside of that, there's just not too much stuff. Priest of the Blood Ray. When Priest of the Blood Ray enters the battlefield, put a 5-5 black demon creature token with flying out of the battlefield. At the beginning of your upkeep, you lose two life. Yikes. I don't know about that. Maybe if you could bounce that back and forth into your um, hand and casting, uh, even then it's really not worth it. Iconic Masters. What are we going to unleash in Iconic Masters? A lot of really good rare value up in uh, Iconic Masters. Masters 25 is the mythic value. Rare value comes out of Iconic Masters, I'd have to say. Bam! Mishra's Bobble already off to a good start. That's a solid pool right there. We'll put that in a solid pool pile. Gruel Turf. Sarah Angel, can't go wrong with Sarah Angel, and a Channel Mythic. We would get the Bulk Mythic, wouldn't we? And uh, Reeve Sol, Soul, Reeve Soul, Reeve Soul, Soul Reeve. Channel's not bad. Um, until end of turn, anytime you could activate a mana ability, you may pay one life. If you do, add a colorless to your mana pool. Look how the fading is on this. That's why I didn't really care. Uh, I like Iconic Masters, and I, I, I actually I love Iconic Masters, and I love Masters 25. The problem with Iconic Masters, especially, is the fading on the cards. A lot of these cards, if you look, they're just faded. Let's try to pull another example up here really quick. If you compare the two, I mean, look at the fading in this. Even up on top. That is just extremely faded. That's a better example right there. Much faded. See the mana symbols? Just really faded stuff. Um, I don't know if the ink uh, was having a bad day or what happened there, but it, it's definitely uh, it's definitely not cool. And I think a lot of people were upset about that. But overall, Iconic Masters going for 140 bucks a box. That's a uh, that's a steal. And um, you might want to get your hands on some before they go up to 160, 170 here in a few months. Um, I did say it, and I, I stick to it. Also, um. Dominaria, I've been saying it's going to go up in value. Collective Defiance, all right, we'll take it, we'll take it. Got the Escalate ability. Midnight Scavengers and a Foil Repel the Abominable. All right, chaotic, I guess. We just opened a booster box of this, and we pulled every freaking good hit you could possibly get out of Eldritch Moon. For those of you who witnessed that opening, that was a lot of fun. That was a heck of a lot of fun. Um, but I also said about Dominaria that those booster boxes, within a few months, you're probably going to see them for uh, over 120 130 bucks. We will see how true that is. I made a very bold claim, and I remember I commented on uh, one YouTuber's uh, 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 video, and I said that a bigger guy, maybe not even going to say his name, but he said no, and he laughed at it, and he said the set's okay, but it's just not that great. And I'm like, yeah, we'll see about that, pal. So we'll have to see what goes on there. I did predict it would go up in value, and it looks like the cards are all soaring right now. I think they're 100 bucks a box. Uh, slaughter drone up in the piece. So we will see how that works out. I'm excited to find out. Whether I'm right or wrong, I don't care. Um, but I did make a guess, and my guess was that it would go up in value and quickly. Now, if they're going to do a whole bunch of reprints or uh, you know second print runs and all that, that could definitely bring the value down. This is Ixalan, by the way. Um, and that, of course, that could cause some issues um, with value. You know, We'll see. Wrapping, wrapping. Drowned Catacomb. We'll take it. Nice little Drowned Catacomb. Can't go wrong with your dual lands. We will take a Drowned Catacomb. Oh, Dizzle. I'm putting anything I think that's over five bucks or around five bucks over here in this pile over here. So you see, I'm not sure exactly of all the value here. I'm assuming that is around five dollars each card. I could be wrong. I could be wrong if I am. You know, that's just how it goes, baby. That's just how it goes. Let's see what else we got up here. Fall of the Gravel. Gavel, gavel, gravel, gravel falls from the sky. Wouldn't that be a day? Corzal, Guild Mage, Overgrown Tomb. That's legit. We'll take that. 
As Overgrown 2 Menders of Battlefield, you may pay 2 life. If you don't, Overgrown 2 Menders of Battlefield tapped. Not a bad card right there. That might be in the... Uh, that might be around 3 bucks. I'm guessing. I don't really care too much about the value, but I do set stuff aside for my patrons. Uh, anything that's five or really about three, three, four bucks and up, I put it in the patron pool. So they all have uh, an opportunity to get their hands on some of those. And some of my patrons are guaranteed stuff every month. Pretty insane. Thash was ire harness by force. So far, what are you guys thinking? What are your thoughts? We're a little, we're about past the midway point, but there is a lot of variety in this. And that's what I thought would be a lot of fun to open it. I think it'd be more fun to draft this. If only I had some friends. I mean, that'd be cool too. Uh, Highland Lake up in the up in this. Ravenous Chupacabra. This card, man, it, it haunts my dreams. I, I promise you, it haunts my dreams. Speaking of dreams, last night, oh my goodness, Protein Raider. Um, I, I I fell asleep and then I woke up. Okay. And I couldn't move my body. Like, I was like, it was like sleep paralysis, it's called, or whatever. If you guys ever heard about that. Um, but I woke up, I could not move my body. I knew I was awake, but my mind was like drifting off into another dimension or whatever. But I almost started seeing, or I thought I was seeing, like shadow people or something. It was really freaking weird and creepy. They were to the left of me in the dream, or in the, uh, when I was awake in sleep paralysis. And, uh, man, was it crazy. I know I was in sleep paralysis because I was able to get myself out of it. I had to start shaking my body um, uh, very rap like, like vigorously, like, back and forth. This all sounds nutty, but, I mean, I'm just saying it is what it is. If you heard of sleep paralysis before, it is a real thing. Uh, ghastly Conscription. Look at that. Exile all, cre all creature cards from target player's graveyard in a face-down pile. Shuffle that pile, then manifest those cards. And a Swiftwater's Cliffs. Legit. Uh, I'm not sure the value on that. I'm probably assuming it's more of the bulkish, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, that's that whole sleep thing, man. That was crazy, and that was just last night. Uh, scared the crap out of me, but not as much as it used to, because it's about the third or fourth time that's happened to me in my life. Uh, if anyone has had that happen to them, by all means, let me know. Metallic Mimic! Boosh! Nice frickin' pool. That's a great card. If you don't know what it does by now, let me just go over it. As Metallic Mimic enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Metallic Mimic is the chosen type, in addition to its other types. Each other creature you control of the chosen type enters the battlefield with an additional plus one, plus one counter on it. That is really good. Oh, and an Emblem Tezzeret. That's cool. Uh, Mimic goes in the awesome pile. There you go. So, so far, we're... Value-wise, I mean, it, it, we're trying to pull something good out of here. But value-wise, with the packs, like just purchasing all these at random from your LGS or online, I think this might be a little cheaper to go this route with the bulk um, of 24 at once. It could be. Got a route. You may cast route anytime you could cast an instant if you pay two or uh, two colorless more to cast it. Destroy all creatures that can't be regenerated. Also, um... Look at the bending on this. I definitely noticed that right away. I don't know if the camera's picking it up that well. There is a lot of curvature. There you can see that. There's a lot of freaking curvature. Um, that has nothing to do with uh, with Card Kingdom. That's just how these cards go, I guess. Um, they start curving and whatnot. That was one of the card quality issues that a lot of people had with, uh, with Wizards lately. And it's evident. Um, we are on to Saviors of Kamigawa. It is quite evident. Um, hopefully they got rid of that problem, because here's an older one. If you look at this, there's no bending going on. This is from, uh, what, tw uh, 2005? Wow. I'm getting old. I think we're all getting old. Crikey, mate. Uh, Sakura. Kurina. Ona. Love the artwork. Descendant of Masumaro. And we got a Razor Jaw Oni. Got a Oni. And an Eternal Dom Dominion. Look at that thing, man. That is brilliant to look at. Search target opponent's library for an artifact, creature, enchantment, or land card. Put that card into, your, uh, into play under your control. Then that player shuffles his or her library. Whoa. Not, uh, tend to bring out. Crazy casting cost on that sucker. I'm not sure the value on that one. Um, Dragon's Maze. Oh, man. I was thinking about purchasing a box and setting it on fire. Um, just a thought. Let me know your thoughts on that. You know, would you like to see that on the channel? Um, we can possibly arrange that. Uh, or maybe just blowing it up. I don't know. Ascended Law Mage. Crisis Incubation. Blood Scrivener. Scrivener, sure. If you would draw a card while you have no cards in hand, instead draw two cards and you lose one life. Oh, cool. 
And we got a foil down and dirty. Down and dirty. I like that. That's fun. Little playful wizards over here. Target player discards two cards. Return target card from your graveyard to your hand. And if you guys are watching this for the first time, you're not subscribed, um, by all means, you know, subscribe to the channel. We do a lot of random openings like this, and we get a little goofy, and there's some giveaways here and there, and we have a lot of fun. We try not to take magic too seriously here in Bad Boy Gaming. We're more the fun aspect of everything, so now you know. Keep it going, baby. Desert. Ceradon. Ceradon. That thing looks crazy. Would not want to mess with that. Actually, this, this beat me in a game. Um, what was it? MTG Arena? That card ended up beating me. I just, uh, I lost to it. I did, I did. Scattered Groves. Solid little uh, duel there. And an Unburdened Foil. Awesome. Foil on the blood. Gotta love the foil blood. Foil on the blood. Not too bad. Innistrad. Shadows over Innistrad. Can we pull something juicy out of here? Come on, baby. Pull something juicy out of the Innistrad. Put this sucker over here. Essence Flux. Hope against hope. Crawling Sensation and a Soul Swallower. Mostly a ball card, but what are you going to do? Autumn Gloom. I see a foil. I see a foil. It is Drunia. Corpse Trawler. Drunia, Drunia, Dronia, Dronia. Am I saying that right? Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Uh, keep it going, baby. Keeping it going. Battle for Zendikar. A Theros and Born of the Gods to close it out. I uh, I was hoping to get some better pulls out of here, but it is the luck of the draw. What are you going to do? Uh, Stasis Snare. That's legit. Scythe Leopard. Ulamog's Despoiler. Painful Truths. Seen that card too many times. That's a painful truth. Nice! Nice hat, mate! Got the old planes. I will take that. Get to the bell. Uh, any foil. Uh, full art is just magnificent to look at. I really appreciate the work they put into the, the foils and the full art lands. That's really neat. That is something neat. That goes in the uh, pretty cool pile over here um, that I screwed up. Painful truth does not go in that pile. Not bad. We got a Theros 15 card booster pack. What do we get? What do we get? Gainsay. And a Stone Shock Giant. Followed by Erebos. Whip of Erebos. Skadoosh. There you go. That's a little Skadoosher. Put that in a good, sweet little pile. And a Land of a Forest. Born of the Gods. Can we go out with a bang? This last pack, Moss Back. We're going to find out together. Let's see what it is. Thassa's a rebuff. Sky Reaping. Vortex Elemental. We pulled a god! Ah! Last pack! Moss is back! <laughs> Man, going out with a bang! Skadoosh, skadoosh all over the freaking place. Oh, that is nice. Um, not even the best god, but still a god nonetheless. Indestructible. As long as your devotion to black and red is less than seven, Mogus isn't a creature. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, Mogus deals two damage to a player if he or she, um, I'm sorry, to that player unless he or she sacrifices a creature. Really freaking cool card. Definitely a cool card. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts, opinions. Was this worth it? Would you purchase this from Card Kingdom? They also have a bunch of different other kinds of uh, draft bundles out there and whatnot that uh, are available uh, at random uh, throughout the year. They do change it up. But let me know about this one uh, in, in particular. Do you like it? What were you? Did you think we got the value out of it? Um, Pack-wise, before they're cracked, is the value there? Pack-wise afterwards, is it there? I think we failed on that part. But I want you guys to make the assessment. Let me know your thoughts. Would you or would you not? purchase this but for draft i think it's a heck of a lot of fun all right guys as always pla